<clears throat> hey everybody how you doing last outrider here with the promised formation video for the champions of Fenris <clears throat> if you remember I made a spell if it, or if it, you don't know who are the champions of Fenris then I suggest you go watch a six-part video series I made answering exactly that question <clears throat> specifically because it wouldn't make sense if I told you, here's the company of the Great Wolf Detachment. That's what this is going to talk about. So, apparently, in the Champions of Fenris data slate, or Codex Supplement, there you can have a unique detachment of Space Wolves called the Company of the Great Wolf. <clears throat> this is basically going to be uh, Logan Grimnar and his Wolf Guard. And it's going to consist... Of, if you decide to take this, it's going to consist of one HQ and two elites. That's the required units. You then can optionally have three more HQ, three troops, six elite choices, three fast attack, three heavy support, one fortification, and one lords of war. Wow, yes, that's that's kind of crazy, but it's true. So you can have, that's the Company of the Great Wolf Detachment. <clears throat> On top of that, it also has some special rules here that I can tell you about. Okay, it has command benefits, they call them, and that is Grimnar's right hand. If this detachment is your primary detachment, you can re-roll the result when rolling on the Champions of Fenris Warlord Traits table. Of course, that's going to go on to the next question. What the fuck is the Champions of Fenris Warlord Traits table? But let's, we'll get there in a second. Next, King's Guard. The following models have plus one weapon skill on their profiles when chosen as a part of this detachment. This is extremely important. Plus one weapon skill will be given to all, all models, not units or characters. If it is this model, it gets a plus one weapon skill. Wolfguard, Wolfguard Pack Leader, Wolfguard Terminator, Wolfguard Terminator Leader, Thunder Wolf Cavalry, and Thunder Wolf Cavalry Pack Leader. All of those figures automatically plus one weapon skill with this formation, which is like, like they need it. Uh, let me see. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Let's see. So the formation is... The following section details the rules and information on a number of formations commonly seen. Oh, that's just basic on what is a formation. Okay. First formation we're going to have is called the King's Guard Storm Force. Let's deal with the fluff first. The King's Guard are the elite of Logan Grimnar's great company. And when he marches to war, they stand tall at his side. More than merely a bodyguard, these chosen warriors are the spear tip of Grimnar's thrust into the heart of enemy formations. Astride Storm Rider, Grimnar will lead his company into the fray. The wolf guard mounted in land raiders to keep pace. As the great wolf plunges in among his foes, the axe Morkai rising and falling in sprays of blood. The King's Guard are disgorged from their transports to join the battle. While the warriors of Fenris fight, their transports remain nearby, heavy weapons hammering into the enemy armor. When he deems the timing right, Grimnar will call forth the wrath of the Stormfang, where the icy fury of its Hellfrost Destructor can turn the tide of battle. Ooh, chilly. Formation, let's get right to it, consists of Logan Grimnar, one unit of Wolfguard Terminators, one Land Raider of any 
type and one Stormfang gunship. The restrictions. Logan Grimnar must be equipped with Storm Rider. The Wolfguard Terminator unit must include five models and must take the Formation's Land Raider as a dedicated transport. So those are things you have to do to take it. In return for taking those supposed restrictions, you will get the following special rules. First among equals, King's Guard, Sagaborn. We'll go into what those mean later, but here are two special ones just for them. First into the fray. On any turn that they disembark from this formation's land raider, the Wolfguard Terminator unit has the Furious Charge special rule and can be and can re-roll failed charges. That's first into the fray. Next, Wrath of the Stormfang. As long as Logan Grimnar is alive, the controlling player can choose whether to pass or fail any reserve rolls for this formation's Stormfang gunship. I like that. I, I, there's no need to even explain all of the tactical possibilities you can do with choosing to pass or fail any reserve roll. Wow. So let's go on to first among equals, King's Guard and Sagaborn. Where would we find that? Well, we would find that down here at the end. At the end, then, where is it at? Ah. Let's see. Okay, back. Sagaborn. Here's the fluff. The champions of Fenris comprise many of the mightiest heroes of the Space Wolves. They are the greatest of a warrior breed. Their sagas long and filled with many deeds of courage and valor. Ever do they seek the opportunity to earn further renown and carve a legend that will live on for eternity in the annals of their chapter. So what's the special rule? Okay. Characters that are a part of a detachment or formation presented in this book must always issue and accept a challenge whenever possible. If you have several models in combat with a special rule to this effect, you can choose which model issues or accepts the challenge. That is interesting. Especially the last part. So let's go over that again. That means characters, all characters in this detachment, in, uh, uh, as a part of a detachment or a formation presented in this book. So that means if you take the Champions of Fenris uh, detachment I talked about, or use any of the formations in this book, if you take a normal detachment, that character must always issue and accept. So the key point is it must always issue a challenge too. But it only needs to be one character. Because it says if you have more than one with that special rule, you get to choose which one issues or accepts a challenge. But that means every turn, as long as you have a character, you're going to be issuing a challenge as well. First among equals. And here's the fluff. The Wolf Guard of the Space Wolves includes some of the deadliest fighters in the galaxy. To earn a place amongst such a hallowed warrior brotherhood is a dream to which all Sky Warriors aspire, but few achieve. As Great Wolf Logan Grimnar can call upon the mightiest of even his esteemed company, the King's Guard, a valiant heroes who have defeated terrible foes and dread champions beyond counting to earn their place at the side of the High King of Fenris. So what's the rule? The rule is, all Wolfguard battle leaders, Wolfguard pack leaders, Wolfguard terminator leaders, and Thunderwolf cavalry pack leaders are a part of a detachment or formation presented in this book have the preferred enemy characters 
special rule when fighting in a challenge. Bazam! So there you go. This goes right with the other one. You must always issue and accept a challenge. And this one, first among equals, means that any challenge you're in, you have the preferred enemy character's special rule. Bazam! When fighting that challenge. Now, last, just before we end the video, I almost forgot. What are the warlord traits for this freaking formation? Here they are. Here they are. Number one, fire in the blood. Some sky warriors never lose their reckless lust for battle. Surviving countless years of war and death through wild bravery and warrior's luck. The Warlord can re-roll a single failed saving throw every turn. Bam. Thread Cutter. Some of the champions of Finris display an instinctive mastery of the killing art. This Warlord saga is thronged with names and descriptions detailing the countless foes that have died by his hand. When fighting in a challenge... The Warlord re-rolls all failed to wound rolls. Nice. Very nice. Gate Keeper. This Warlord bears the honorific of... Wow. Uh, D-Y-R-V-O-R-D-R. -R. That's the word. D-Y-R-V-O-R-D-R. -R -R. Gatekeeper of the Vault. The Great Wolf has entrusted him with stewardship of the Fang's main weapon vault and one of the ancient relics stored within. Nominate one weapon carried by your Lore Lord. That weapon has the Master Crafted Special Rule. Note, however, that this cannot be applied to any relics of the Great Wolf. I'm going to have another video on that, but they have a whole relics of the Great Wolf here, uh, which is quite nice. Blessing of the Wolf. The Canis Helix takes root in each Space Wolf in a different way. This warlord can sense his foes from a mile away and smell their fear upon the wind leading his warriors to their prey with unerring accuracy. The Warlord and any unit he joins during the deployment have the outflank special rule. Nice again. Um, and yeah, if you watch my other videos, you know I'm an outflank and uh, infiltration type of player. This, oh, next one, Thanes to the King. This warlord has fought alongside Logan Grimnar for many centuries. He would rather die than face failure in the eyes of the Great Wolf. And that means this warlord has the fearless special rule. Okay. I think that actually the, the other one's a little better, but... Deeds beyond counting. This hoary old warrior has seen many lifetimes of war. He has fought and defeated foes of every kind, enemies of every description. His saga is long and full of glory. The Warlord has the preferred enemy special rule. But I am. Wow. There you go. Okay, I hope you like it. Next time we'll go into the next formations. And I will see you then. Bye.